Alright, so here's what I want to do today. I want to do a harvest and taste on these tangerines. This is what they're called. Never had them before. I'm really excited that they have grown the way they have. But I'm going to harvest one of these, or maybe two. I could probably leave them out for a little longer. As you can see, I have a whole lot of them. But I want to try them. Why not? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, hey everybody. So today when I got home, I was totally planned. I was totally planned. Okay, hey everybody. When I got home today, I planned on doing a video on garlic. I have been trying to get my garlic in the ground forever. I want to do a video on it because I've learned stuff from spring when I planted my garlic that I want to do a video on in the fall. But I go to walk out the door and my hummingbird feeder, I had something happened, it was dripping, and I had probably 200 bees, 100, 150, 200 uh, bumblebees all over the patio out there. So I couldn't even go outside. It took me an hour to get rid of them all. And I hate killing honeybees. It, it, it bothers me because we need them, but I also have to be able to get outside and not get stung by a plethora of bees so I had to kind of change up what I was gonna to do today so I bought a what I thought was a tangerine tree back in the spring at Home Depot and as you just saw at the beginning of the video it's not a tangerine it's a tree. calamondrin orange tree okay well cool it's an orange tree this is about as big as these little oranges get it's a little bigger than a ping-pong ball it's not even as big as a golf ball um, I've never had it. I will, I will, let me back up. I tried them about a month ago. There was one that was sort of orange that I cut off and tried. It was beyond sour. I'm hoping that now that this thing has actually matured and is fully ripe, that it's lost some of that sourness. I don't know. So I thought, you know what? My garlic idea went out the window today for today because of the bees. It took me forever. So um, I'm gonna do this. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Anyone out there ever had one of these? If you have, leave it in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought of it because here we go. Let's see what I think of it. Let's stop dropping it. It's got a normal little tiny thin Ryan. It smells like a tangerine, to be honest with you. Completely like a tangerine. That's how it smells. Which is what I thought this thing was. Very orange smell, very tangerine smell. But super, super juicy. Look at that, just dripping. There's a seed. Each one of these little Things has a seed. Yeah, I don't want to try a huge chunk. Well, let's just do this. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Hoping the tartness is gone or sourness. We'll see. Mm. Holy crap. Woo! Okay, that is tart. My eyes hurt. Oh my gosh. I don't know what you would use that for because the tartness in that little thing is insane. I don't know what I'm going to use these, that tree for. If that's how tart they always are, I, I can't even eat that. Ooh. Okay, so, mm. harvest and taste for a calamondrin. If you like super, super tart and sour, I mean, that's worse than like a grapefruit. Holy 
the mackerel. Um, if you like super, super sour and tart um, citrus, get one of those calamondrin trees, uh, orange trees. If you don't, don't get them. I'm glad I only bought one of those. I'll, I'll keep it because I've got it, but whew, that is hard. That is harsh. Okay, so whew, real short video. Uh, <laughs> uh, tomorrow's video. I will do the video for garlic tomorrow unless something comes up. But I'm going to do the video for garlic because I need to get them in the ground. So, hey, if y'all like this video and my crazy sour face, uh, <laughs> like the video, share the video, hit the little subscribe button. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, Down Home Backyard Gardening. And as always, shine bright and harvest hard.